What's up? And out here today bringing you guys another cartoon conspiracies. So basically this one is about SpongeBob and uh, him being on drugs, which I can kind of see. But before I get into it, let's go ahead and say whatever you guys want to see. Go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section below and I will be sure to go check out that conspiracy. And I will also be sure to make a video on it if it is any good. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into this. So Smoke Out on Stoner Forms basically said that uh, all the all the SpongeBob characters are actually on drugs. He said that SpongeBob is on meth, and that is because he is always really, really happy, and he is occasionally paranoid, which if you know what meth is, it'll make you really, really happy, and then when you're crashing, it'll make you really, really sad or really, really angry. And it also makes you really, really paranoid, like, oh my god, are people expecting me being high, blah, 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 blah. So basically what he says is, it's, is when Spongebob is going through a major crash, that is when he's getting depressed, and that is when his meth is going away, that is why he's getting really sad. Um, he also says that Patrick Starr is a stoner, and he says that because he laughs at stupid things, which if you do, guys do watch, you guys do notice that he does laugh at a lot of stupid things, and he's also really, really hungry all the time and eats. He'll eat, like, three, like, uh, Krabby Patties at the same time, and it is basically how it is. Remember that one episode, him and SpongeBob found a clam, and uh, he, he kept going to work, and basically what his work was is he was having ice cream and basically watching TV, and that's basically what he was doing. That's what he was doing when SpongeBob caught him. Also, Squidward is on heroin. He says that because he's always down and he yells at Spongebob for being hyped up. And if you guys don't know what heroin does, it basically makes you really down and depressed and makes you want to kind of just, you know, do different things. Um, that's why he's always in his house listening to music and uh, always trying to be good at music. And he's always trying to find basically the pursuit of happiness is what it seems like. Plus... Also, with all his tentacles that he has, it wouldn't be that hard to shoot up because he has like eight of them. So he could shoot up on one, one day, hide it, and then shoot up on another. Because if you guys don't know what heroin does to you, it will leave the marks on you if you do shots. And uh, basically, without with him having so many tentacles, he could basically have a different shot every day or so. So Mr. Krabs is on coke, which is always why he's really uppity and uh, how he's, why he's always concerned about money because coke is really expensive. It's an expensive drug. Um, he also manages his finances carefully why he pays Spongebob and uh, Squidward so much, like less money than what they probably deserve. So basically, he's also a dealer. Also, that is what the Krusty Krab is. It's basically a front for a drug deal and... Uh, that's why he always, you know, has customers in there because they're just part of a drug deal and they're usually his customers and uh, that's basically how that goes. And uh, basically he just sells food for, you know, extra money on the side though so he can have more drugs and that was so he can cover up his drug operation though so he doesn't get arrested. Um, Sandy Cheeks is an alcoholic and he says that she ruins every episode she's in because she's always drinking. I don't really see that one. That's the one I don't quite understand, but maybe you guys know. As said, leave a comment in the comment section below what you guys want to see. Do you guys think this theory was kind of creepy? I do. There's also some more SpongeBob conspiracies that I want to do later on, like down the road. Tell me what you guys want to see, and I will be sure to post it. Also, be sure to leave a like on this video if you guys have enjoyed, and also be sure to subscribe for more cartoon conspiracies, life stories, gaming news and stuff like that, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.